he wants another veto, and he wants another funds impounded, and he wants to take me on. And the Admiral of Charleston uh, Navy Yard, I, I got if he wants a war, he can have one. Now, he's just been he, he's been playing with McNamara. McNamara doesn't know how to fight. But I've got a good sharp knife, and I'm going to cut off his, Peter. John, tell him this now. Just tell him that he, he's, he's getting too big for his britches. But I'm going to cut off his Peter and put it in my pocket, as Mr. Rayburn used to say. And I served with Mendel a long time, and I don't trust him as the greatest tactician. And he's already damn near ruined me by ordering to bomb Peking. And now those congressmen got to have some responsibility. I don't care how much seniority they got. They're Americans. And a damn fool that's out here advocating bombing Peking ain't got no business being chairman of a committee. He ought to be removed. Man ought to be expelled that advocates bombing Peking uh, with a situation as terrible as it is right now. And so you're just going to have to talk to him. If you can't do it, I'm going to send for him and talk to him myself. Now, I talked to him night full last night. He, he was so thrilled because I'd signed his pay bill. Oh, he said, we'll work this out. said, I don't want any trouble. I want to get along with you. I'm ready to do it. But they tell me they met with him three or four times this morning, and he's just trying to rave and rant and throw his weight around. And you talked to him the other night? Yes, sir. He's one of the first men I called. And I said, to, I've got two bills here. I'm going to sign one of them. It's wrong to sign it. It cost us $600 million. And you ought to gone down that well, and Carl Albert ought to, and uh, Jerry Ford ought to, and you ought to say this is fiscal irresponsibility. But we went ahead and passed it unanimously, 414 to nothing. It cost us 600 extra million, and most of it's wasted. It doesn't go to the people it ought to go to at all. It goes to people that we don't need in the service. We need the specialists, the electronic people. But I signed that bill and I told him so. Now I said, on the other one, I can't go along with that because you run the whole defense establishment. And I'm just not going to run the country because even if the, the Congress, the House, and the Senate don't know any better. Now most of the Senate didn't even know what was in the bill because they didn't have anything like this in the bill. This was a, the, the crazy committee over there. So when I talked to the senators, I haven't found a one of them that even knew what was in the bill. And that's a sad thing to say, but that's true.